Hey guys, it's Dan, your host here Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear the Walking Dead. This one's going to be doing the next character evolution video. This one is going to be doing the character evolution of June Dory from Fear the Walking Dead. Is that you? Okay guys, so it's going to be doing another video for today. This one's going to be doing another Fear the Walking Dead character evolution video. This one is going to be doing the evolution of June Dory from Fear the Walking Dead or Laura or Naomi or June or July or August, whatever. So uh, the very many names lady, that's what we're going to go with for this one. But uh, yeah, so this one won the poll this week, which I'm going to be honest, I was actually pretty surprised with all the, you know, the Walking Dead characters. Um, you guys really don't fail to surprise me every week. I'll tell you that. Uh, every week I'm like, okay, I feel like people are going to go for this character and then you guys call for like the complete opposite character of what I thought was going to win the poll. So uh, you guys are unpredictable. I'll tell you guys that. So um, obviously June is a very, very big character in Fear of the Walking Dead. And when I noticed that this one won the poll, I'm just like, okay, it does make sense though. Because again, um, she is a character that we're seeing a lot of right now. And, uh, you know, I mean, I think she's great right now. I mean, I think she's absolutely fantastic. So uh, she is introduced in Fear of the Walking Dead season four, and she's still alive right now in season six, episode uh, 14 going forward and after episode 13. But um, basically when she gets introduced, uh, obviously she washes up on John's, you know, uh, cabin and we get to see basically that, you know, uh, she grows, you know, uh, you know, a, a very close, you know, relationship with John, uh, in episode five. Um, she doesn't even tell him, you know, uh, you know, her real name, you know, like he goes with Laura, uh, but then, you know, uh, that's just kind of what he calls her. So, uh, you know, he's like, you look like a Laura, you know, but I really like the episode between John and June. I thought it was a very well done episode. And I think that it's kind of cool that they kind of gave John, you know, that storyline that like he's trying to find the one he, he loves and stuff like that. Um, he tells her he loves her, but she doesn't say it until she leaves. But her leaving was annoying. But again, you find out in episode six that, you know, um, she did lose her child and stuff like that. And she kind of, you know, blames herself a lot. She kind of wants to get away from people. So almost like a Carol type of situation. But, uh, you know, June in season four, I think she's good. I think she's a good character. Uh, she's not fantastic because there are some moments where she just kind of runs out, you know, runs out on people. And I'm like, okay, why are you doing that? But again, like, I, I really do like her character. I like the storyline they gave her in season four. Um, and her relationship with John, especially in retrospect now. Um, yeah, I really, really love it for sure. So um, now in the rest of the season, obviously she's kind of, you know, in, you know, the stadium group. Uh, she joins them for a bit, but she knows that the place isn't going to last. And she even kind of tells Alicia that like, you're going to have to start thinking of where you're going to, you know, go next. Um, but of course she tries to leave even on, you know, uh, Alicia. So there's some frustrating moments with her character in season four, to say the least. But um, in the mid-season finale and around that time, we find out in the current timeline that she does join the Vultures and that uh, they kind of, you know, took her in and then she kind of had no choice but to join them. Um, but then she joins Morgan and the others and then they kind of all form one group by the, you know, mid-season finale. So um, as they learn that Madison sacrificed herself. So uh, that's that. So I, I actually really like that. I think June had a pretty crazy evolution from just like that first half of the season. Um, and then in the second half of the season, we have the episode with her and Althea, uh, where basically Althea, you know, kind of lies just so she can get the van back and June almost kills that guy for nothing. Um, not a fan of that episode, but again, you know, June's character, I think she's fine. Uh, you know, I, even though I, I think she really should have killed that guy though. Like honestly, the guy that took Al's van, she should have killed that freaking guy. I'm sorry. Um, he stole the van the way he was acting, honestly, um, I, I just, I don't know. I don't really understand why she, she didn't shoot him there, to be honest. But uh, I'll be honest, though. I think June in the second half, does, like, really needs a lot more work because that's all she did in the half season. Like, that's all she did. So um, I'll have to say that, like, season four, decent evolution uh, evolution for a character. It's pretty decent. Now, um, in season five, she is basically with John. Of course, they crash the plane. Um, you've got uh, the Dwight stuff. That stuff comes in. Uh, you know, her and John help Dwight out uh, to try to find Sherry and stuff like that. But again, in the first half of the season, you know, she is there. She does save Luciana's life, but that is essentially it. Like she doesn't really have too many like big scenes, you know? Um, now in the second half of the season, obviously she's very focused on trying to find a home for the group to stay at, um, which, you know, obviously you can understand and, you know, it make, definitely makes a lot of sense. Uh, but, you know, again, she doesn't do too much. Like you got the rabbi episode, they get on the ladder, they do a few things like this. But basically, essentially, it all comes down to just her trying to find a home for the group and trying to find a good place for them to stay. Now, the one thing that they do for June's character is obviously the wedding in the season finale, 
which I really like this scene. I mean, you know, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of the season five finale, but um, I really do like the wedding scene and I really do like when they get married and, you know, Dwight gives the rings to them and stuff like that. Um, I think that's really cool. So uh, June in season five, she's just, she's just honestly does not have a great evolution. I'm sorry. She does not have a good uh, evolution. Um, I think that it's a very poor kind of journey for that character in season five. But again, I'm not going to hold it against her because in season five of fear, let's be honest, the journeys for a lot of the characters really suck. Like even Morgan was annoying in season five. That's how you know season five is bad. But um, season six. Now, this is when like, I'm just like, okay, this is fantastic here. Like from season five, June to season six, June, I'm like, what the hell happened? Like, seriously, this is this is the kind of stuff I wanted to see from her character. Now, in the first half of the season, she saves Jenny's life, and you're just like, okay, why the, why the frig did she do that, you know? Um, but then you get the death of John. Then you get, you know, her reaction to that, having to bury him in front of, like, his own cabin. And it's just like, okay, they have just done something pretty crazy with her character now. Um, obviously, we got the lineup and the lot, and we got everything that goes down there. And to make a long story short, she is the one that ultimately gets the answers out of Virginia. And when she does, she kills her. And then Dakota sees it. And, um, man, that's honestly like, that's, what, what a fantastic scene. She puts the hat on. She walks out there like a freaking gangster. And Morgan and, you know, Morgan and Alicia and Dwight and all that, they're all just standing there like, what, what, what did we just see? <laughs> like, you know, is that, is that June? Or like, that's a totally different person right there, you know? Um, so yeah, that, that was insane. Honestly, when she shot and killed Jenny, I was like, all right, that's insane. But basically in the rest of the season, uh, Morgan and her don't really talk too much, but of course she wasn't there in time to help Grace out, but the, the baby was going to die anyway. Morgan was just kind of trying to place blame, but essentially she runs into John senior. And obviously when that happens, it really just changes everything. It puts everything into perspective and it's just like, okay, so now we got this story. He tells the story about how Teddy, like, um, you know, how this has been something that's been going on since the seventies. Uh, and June really is trying to just kind of let go of the past. She doesn't want to read the letters. She doesn't want to do all this, but as she grows a bond with, you know, John senior, she finally has it in her after a bit, after the fight with Hill and after everything that, you know, goes down there, um, to finally read the letter. And when she does, it, it's really just kind of that last piece of John that she had left. And once she read the letter, she can try to move on now. Like you can tell, like when she reads the letter, she's like, okay, like I've, I've, that part of my life is over. I got to accept it. John is dead. You know, even as viewers, it's hard for us to accept that the guy's dead, like still, but you, you gotta just find a way to move forward. And that's what June is doing as she introduces John Sr. to Morgan, which, you know, Morgan was very honored to meet him and stuff like that. So, um, June in season four, pretty good. June in season five, trash. I'm sorry. June in season six, awesome character. Like, awesome character. Like, what they're doing with her, like, honestly, keep this up. David Alpert and all the people that write this stuff right now, um, keep this up because this is fan freaking tastic what they're doing with June's characters. So, um, and I think Jenna Elfman, honestly, I want to take a second here to say Jenna Elfman, uh, even season five, you know, even though I'm not a big fan of that character, um, you know, in, if there's ever a small chance you ever saw this video, um, I want to say like you did a fantastic job in season five. Either way, you always do a fantastic job in this show, but for season six, Holy frig. Like, honestly, that character is like top, like, like top tier for me now. So, um, I want to hear from you guys now in the comment section below. What do you guys think about June's character? What do you think about uh, Jenna Elfman's performance of June? And what do you think about her evolution in all of these seasons of Fear the Walking Dead? So anyway, guys, if you guys are new here, click that subscribe and turn the same videos so for Fear the Walking Dead. Follow Dan's Walking Dead and subscribe, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another video for Fear the Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.